Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah and these um, few videos that I'm getting ready to record are going to be about my coloring book collection as a whole and I have to divide it up into four different parts because of the amount of coloring books that I do have. So what I'm going to do is show you guys the first group here and this particular group has duplicates um, of the same paper quality like uh, The Lost Ocean, The Enchanted Forest, and The Secret Garden. Um, so I would consider this a duplicate group because of the paper quality, not because of the book itself. So that's the kind of ones that I'm doing in this first um, tutorial review uh, kind of thing. So let me go ahead and get started. I'd like to show you guys um, different tests of mediums that I've done on the paper um, for each of my books. Um, and I think this is going to be kind of fun. So this is the first group I have here. Um, and I'm going to set these off to the side and do the books one at a time. I'm going to show you guys pictures that I have completed and pictures um, that I've tested the mediums on. Um, and kind of give you an idea what mediums work best for what books. So in The Lost Ocean, the first one I have is this particular one. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the quality of the medium on the paper itself a little better. Um, these are Crayola. So this is what Crayola looks like in Joanna Bashford's books. So that's the first one. And I, I do apologize, these videos are going to be rather long. That's why I'm dividing them up into four groups. Um, this one is also Crayola. And you can see you can do quite a bit of work as far as shading and different things like that with Crayola if you know how to do it. Um, I think this is pretty good. I mean, it's not the best in the world, but um, I was just practicing different things with the Crayola to see how much um, room I had uh, to kind of experiment here. The last one I have in this book is this particular one. And this one is done with the Spectrum Nor line of colored pencils. And you can see the Spectrum Nor line um, has more of a muted tone to their colored pencils. And on some pictures, I really like that. On others, I don't care for that at all. I want the more vibrant color. Um, on this one, it worked. It worked fine um, for what I was going for anyway. So that is the first book here, The Lost Ocean. The second book is The Enchanted Forest. And this is the first one. And I want to let you guys know the paper quality is, is the same in each of her books. So that's why I can kind of go through and demonstrate different mediums over the pages and you can kind of use those for all of her books. This one's Prismacolor uh, Premiere. And a lot of my pictures you're going to notice are not completely done. And I do that with a lot of pictures. I, I go so far and then I get bored with it. So I'll close it up, start on something else, and then I'll come back to it. So some of my pictures you're going to notice just aren't completed yet. So this one is Prismacolor. And you can see the difference here um, between the two. Um, with the vibrant colors. Um, these are Crayola again, and this is the Prismacolor. And there goes my cat. Go on. There we go. Um, the next picture, I'm going to zoom out, is this one. And this one has a lot of different mediums on it. Um, the mushrooms that you see in here, those are Prismacolor. These rocks are Spectrum Noir colored pencil. This little area right here, these are fine liners. The background was done in watercolor. Let me see if there's any other ones. The bricks here were done in Crayola. Um, there's a very light gray in Crayola that I really like. Um, and that's what I used for this particular one. And I think that's all the different ones on this particular page. But you can see that they work fairly well. 
Um, and these books, any medium is going to look really good. Um, watercolor might be a little difficult if you have trouble controlling the water that you're using. But if you control it pretty good, you're going to get a great result. Uh, the last one in this book is this particular one, and I'm not done with this one either. Um, this one was done completely in Prismacolor. So just an idea about that. The last one with this particular group I have is this Secret Garden. And the only picture I've colored in this one is this one here. And this one was done in Crayola and Prismacolor. Uh, the leaves, these type of leaves here are Crayola. The green ones are Crayola. These are Crayola. Well, I'm trying to remember. Oh, these blue ones here, these are the Prismacolor ones. Everything else is Crayola. So these, these type of leaves are the Prismacolor. And again, Crayola has some really good colors for bricks. Um, the grays that they have are pretty, pretty good. And you can um, lighten the color, you can darken the color really well with Crayola because it's such a hard lead. So that's for that one. And then in the back here, I have done samples of different mediums in these books. Um, let me see if I can zoom in at all. There we go. Um, so these are gelatos. These are the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s. These are alcohol markers, gel pens, fine liners, pastels, uh, the recollection collection of um, water-soluble pastels. This one is the Spectrum Noir Aqua markers, watercolor, Spectrum Noir colored pencils, Faber-Castell polychromos, a Prismacolor, Premier, and Crayola. So out of all these, I would say the only ones that don't work really well in these books is the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s and Gelatos and the Spectrum Noir Aqua Markers. Those particular things I wouldn't recommend for these books. Everything else works pretty good. My favorites for this is the Watercolor, the Spectrum Noir Colored Pencils, and the Faber-Castell Polychromos. Now the alcohol does go through a little bit on the other side, but not a whole lot. So that is the Secret Garden. Let me zoom back out here. The next uh, group that I have here is the Curiosity Shop and the Sweet Shop. So I'm going to start with the Sweet Shop because I did a coloring picture with this one. And these are done with Spectrum Noir. I'm sorry, these are done with Prismacolor Premieres. Um, everything except the back here. The back scoop was done with Zig Clean Color, Watercolor, Brush Tip Markers. Um, and that works really well in these books. Um, I was really impressed with how well that spread out and everything. So those do wonders in this book. Um, that is the Sweet Shop. In the Curiosity Shop, I did a page that has a bunch of different mediums on it right here. So I'm going to go through and tell you what each one is first. And then I'll go back through and tell you my favorites. And definitely don't use this product. Uh, we have watercolor, uh, the Faber Castell polychromos, Prismacolor gel pens, recollections. These are the water based pastels that you can use water and spread them around. These are the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s, fine liner, gelatos, pastels, Spectrum Noir alcohol based markers, and Spectrum Noir aqua markers, Crayola, and that one is Spectrum Noir pencils, watercolor, I'm sorry, not watercolor, 
um, colored pencils. So my favorite ones for this book, I'm going to say, and this is, this is crazy to me that I'm actually recommending these markers because I don't care for them that much, but in this book they do fantastic. And I'm going to say the Spectrum Noir Aqua watercolor markers, um, these did a phenomenal job on this paper. Um, and this was the only book that I have found that they do great on so far. Um, so that one I would definitely recommend. I would recommend the Faber-Castell Polychromos right here. I recommend those because of the smoothness that laid down when I was doing these. The Recollections collection here I would recommend. Fine liners would be great. The alcohol markers go through on the other side. So if you're going to take out your page, um, like I did with um, this one here, I just cut it out. Go ahead and use the alcohol markers. I like how they lay down. They do a great job. But if you're going to keep them inside the book, be sure you have a blotter page between. Things I absolutely would not recommend in this book would be the Crayola colored pencils because of the lay down. I don't know how well you can see that in here, but it left so many hatch marks on this paper. It just isn't pretty. So that one I don't recommend, and I don't recommend the watercolor. It did not spread like I needed it to. So those are the things I do recommend and don't recommend for these particular books. And again, this collection is called The Curiosity Shop and The Sweet Shop. And these are both done by Chris Price. And you can get these on Amazon fairly inexpensive. Um, all of these books that I'm, I'm doing with these reviews here all have their own individual reviews where I flip through the pages and I talk about the page quality and the paper quality and the dimensions and all that stuff. So you can um, subscribe down here and don't forget to like. And then down below, um, if you click on my uh, profile name, it will bring up all of my videos and you can kind of look for the different ones that you're interested in through there. So the next group I have is the Kirby Rosanis group, um, Anamorphia and Imagimorphia. The paper quality in these books are the exact same, um, which I was a little upset about. So I'm going to start off with the pages that I have already colored. And then I will show you the medium page that I tested my mediums on. But you're going to see a lot of different mediums as I flip through here anyway. So this is um, one of the pages that I have done. Um, the bird was done with Crayola. The background here is done with pastel. The bird over here is done with Prismacolor. So you can see the difference in the vibrant color of each one here. Next, I have the iguanas or chameleons, whatever you'd like to call them. Um, and these were completely done with the Prismacolor. So if you're just looking at um, the purples and stuff, you can see the difference here in the quality and the vibrant nature of the Prismacolor versus the Crayola. So keep those in mind when you're doing your pictures. Um, this is the Tiger. This one was done entirely with Prismacolor. And I really like how that turned out. Um, the next one was done with Polychromos. Uh, the Faber-Castell Polychromos. So just to show you the difference there, um, this one has more of a matte finish. It's not so shiny, whereas uh, the chameleons here are pretty shiny. I mean, you can even see the glare on the page um, versus this isn't as shiny. So those are the ones I have done. So you can kind of see completed pictures here. And that one's in the Anamorphia. The Imagimorphia is the one that I did the test page in. So, 
you can see here, I'm going to go through like I did the other ones and tell you what each one is. This is pastels. Let me zoom in here so you can see a little better. There we go. Pastels. These are gelatos. Recollections. Karen Dosh Neo Color 2. Um, the Spectrum Noir Aqua Watercolor Markers. The Spectrum Noir Alcohol Markers. Fine Liners. Crayola. Gel Pens. Faber-Castell Polychromos. Spectrum Noir Colored Pencils. Prismacolor Premier. Down here we have watercolor. So things I would absolutely recommend in these books. I would recommend any colored pencil. The colored pencils work great. Pastels work great. Things I would not recommend in these books. I would not recommend using the alcohol markers unless you have a second copy of the book because you're going to run the back um, page. And you can see with the alcohol markers it went through, but also with the watercolor markers it went through. So I would not recommend using watercolor in these books at all. Other than that, everything else worked pretty good. The fine liners worked great. I would say the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2 water soluble pastel sticks, which is right here. Um, those, those worked okay, but again, you're using water and on the back side here, you can't see it, um, very much, but it did go through just a little bit. So those are the things I would recommend and not recommend for these books. And the last grouping I have here are the legendary worlds. Let me zoom back out and the legendary landscape book collection. And I did not do anything in the Legendary Landscapes um, book to test anything. However, the paper quality is the same between the two books. Um, and the only one I have done in here is the test page for the mediums. So I'm going to go ahead and flip back there. And so you can see very well um, on the back side the watercolor marker went through and the alcohol based marker went through. So those are the two things I would not recommend. Everything else did very well in this book. Um, I'm going to go through these real quick. And as you look at these reviews, you're going to notice all the colors are the same for the products. So like every time I say pastel, it's going to be this color. And every time I say gelatos, it's going to be this color. Um, and that's because I went through my books all at one time and did these test pages for you guys. So um, let me go ahead and tell you what each one is. And you can kind of choose if you like how it looks or not. Spectrum Noir Alcohol Markers, Spectrum Noir Aqua Watercolor Markers, Gel Pens, Pastels, Fine Liners, Recollections, Gelatos, Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2, Crayola, Colored Pencil, uh, Prismacolor Premier Colored Pencil, Spectrum Noir Colored Pencil, Faber-Castell Polychromos Colored Pencil, and the last one down here is the watercolor. Um, things that stood out for me a lot in this book was the watercolor. It did a really good job spreading, but it did leave the paper a little rough. So if you don't mind that, go ahead and use it. Um, if you do mind that, I wouldn't use it. Um, everything else did very well except the alcohol markers, the watercolor markers, and the gelatos. Everything else did very well, left a great finish, laid down great. So these books are really versatile when it comes to um, what you can use in them. And again, these were the Legendary Worlds and Legendary Landscapes. And again, all of these books that I'm showing you have their own reviews. And you can find those by clicking on my name below, and it'll bring up all of my videos. Um, and that is all that I have for this particular video. And I will be doing the other four parts of this video at a later time. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.